Did you hear it? Let me try again. That's me popping my lips. <laughs> your favorite. Hope you can hear it. Anyway, this is your wife, Joni Conway. Today is Monday, March 10th, 1969. And this is my first tape recording to you, my brave and amazing husband, Matt Conway, while you're over there fighting for our country. I thought we could send each other these tapes instead of letters, because then it's almost like we're talking to one another. Oh, I miss you so much, Mac. I miss you so goddamn much. So much that I'm willing to cuss about it, apparently. I miss your face. Your arms when you wrap them around me. It's just so lonely here without you. All I want is for you to walk through that door, scoop me up, and wrap those arms around me so tight. I uh, better slow down. I'm gonna end up talking dirty to you. <laughs> Don't be a tease, Joni. Man, I can just hear you now. I love you, baby. I love you so much. Sometimes it feels like all there is is that love. Like there's not any room for anything else. So I need you to promise me something. Promise me, your wife, Mrs. Joni Conway, that you'll stay safe, get this stupid tour over with, and come home to me. We can start our life together, okay? I've been so angry for so long. Why'd you get drafted? Why are we so unlucky? Then I realized, well, we have each other. And we always will. It doesn't get any luckier than that. I'm not making much sense, I guess. I wish I could talk to you. Since I can't, you just listen. You stay safe, baby. And know that I love you, okay? I love you so damn much. What's going on? Will you... Will you say something to me? Can we please... Mac? Got a body over in Binghamton. Binghamton? Somebody's picket fence wasn't wide enough? What the hell's all this? Talbot Avenue double murder. Or a mystery one-legged man. Hoggard and what was the black fella called? Arthur Solomon. He the one with the sock shoved down his throat or the other one? The other one. Solomon only had his throat blowed open, no sock. So Solomon comes home, right? Did some pretty heinous shit in Vietnam. Allegedly. Allegedly did some pretty heinous shit in Vietnam, but nothing comes of it. Gets swept under the rug. Or maybe he didn't do nothing. Months later, guy shot dead in an apartment next to a prosthetic leg and another dead guy with a, a, a sock shoved down his throat. And? And one thing may have something to do with the other. Where's our one-legged man and who else was there? 
Okay, I know you, Jane. Maybe you can explain it to me on the way to Binghamton. Let's go. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and number after the beep. Uh, I, I need to, I need to speak with the... Is, is anyone here there? I need, I need somebody to pick up. I gotta talk to someone, please. Morning, sunshine. You look like you could use a drink. Look, I'm sorry. You gotta understand, I wasn't allowed to tell you about your wife shacking up with old Cliff Williams. Boss man had a plan. Okay, where is he? He's probably in whatever coffin he sleeps in when the sun's how do you, how out. Do, how do you contact him? That's not really how it works. Okay, what if something goes wrong on the job? I, call, I called, but all I got was some uh, answering machine. Who, old Hal 9000? I hate that damn thing. You cut the shit, do you understand me? I need to know what happens next. I'm not here to be your fucking friend. One here, I thought I'd found a fourth for bridge. Well, let's see. You owe him money, right? How much? 30. Cool. Whee. He's got your wranglers around your ankles and your ass over that whiskey barrel, don't he? Yeah, right. you did. I mean, you built the file on me, right? Mm -hmm. The, uh, scout phase? Indeed, I did. So, so why is he doing this to me? He sees something in you, something unique. Oh, fuck unique. Well, then. <sighs> Toodles. Wait, where are you going, please? Oh, you don't want to be friends? You want to be friends? What? I need to know what I'm supposed to do next. What happened to the money you owe? A friend, he uh, did something with it. And I guess it's kind of hard to ask him what, considering. Pay him his 30 Gs, and maybe you can have a conversation. That's the best I can tell you, handsome. That there's no good news in this world. I can't come up with that kind of money. It ain't even been 12 hours since you found out the sky's not blue. Get some rest, okay? He'll be in touch. Thanks again for the ride. Mac needed the car for some job interviews. God, you're weird. Having him back home? It's not weird. I'm just excited I get to join you and Cliff's little carpool club. There's no carpool club, Andrea. Riding into work together almost every day. I call that a carpool club. I still think the two of you should have hooked up before Mac got back. Andrea. Come on. Everybody at work can see how much he takes you. There's no harm in a little flank. I mean, maybe you ought to hook up with Cliff. Don't stop. I'm just gonna ask him about it. go. Oh my God, Andrea, geez. please. I think you should talk to the cops. I can't be here right now. Okay. In anticipation of the upcoming school year, Patty, I have time to inform for this right now. That changes regarding school attendance will be taking place in the form of busing. Well, I, I had my fill of change a late. Thank you. But this is a good change. Well, a lot of white people may not agree with you. They had, what, 15, 16 years since they were supposed to do this? Once white parents get a taste of how bad it is in the black schools, watch how quick the black schools get better. Better books, better teachers, classrooms that ain't falling apart. But I like my school. Want some more milk, baby? I got it. Are they really gonna make me switch schools? Nobody's switching anything yet. Uh, Heidi's just reading a letter from the school district saying they're gonna work to make changes down the road. They're finally gonna make all the white kids and the black kids go to school together oh, in January hey. of next year. What? That's the truth, ain't it? And Marcus, honey, it's a good thing. Gonna mean you get a better education. Will my friend switch to? Well, we don't know how it's all gonna work out yet. You just worry about enjoying what's left of your summer, all right? 
Did you get that? And no triplet in the house. Hello. Who is it? Hey. Mac? Lou. What? I thought I'd swing by and see how everything's going. Oh, well, that's nice of you. Yeah. But we're OK, really. Well, you know, nothing nice about it. It's my job to you know, make sure y'all are doing all right, so. Uh, please, sit. Thank you. You want some coffee? Uh, yes, ma'am. Keep it down in there, please. Do it yourself, baby. There you go. Thank you. Have you, have you, have you heard any more uh, from the cops? No. Why you talked to them? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I did. What did huh? they say? Well, they, they were just asking about, you know, who he'd been hanging around with, that sort of thing. Did I already ever mention anything to you about money or buy you or the kids anything? No, nothing like that. Is, is that what they think this is about, money? Probably just speculate. You crazy. You think them cops care at all about another dead black man in Memphis? Well, they talked to Mac about it, so at least they're doing something. I said no dribbling in the house. about all the chaos. That's fine. Everyone's just trying to make sense of everything. That goes for all of us, right? Uh, here, here. What, what is this? Just, just take it. It's OK. Sweet of you to check on us, but we don't expect anything. We're gonna be okay. Yeah, I don't know. And if if y'all need anything, okay, and I, I mean anything at all, just give me a call. I appreciate that. You give my best to Joni. And so we struggle, Lord. We struggle to understand your plan. We never expect someone as vibrant and full of life as Cliff to be taken in the prime of his life. But it's the struggle to understand why that we come to find out that the only certainty in life are the trials and tribulations we must endure. If you need Dad's not here right now. That's okay. I can wait. I need his help with uh, something. Only I have no idea when he'll be back, so. 
Okay. Well, you and I can catch up. How's that lovely wife of yours? She is great. She missed you at the party, though. And I was sorry to miss it. I was feeling under the weather. Say no more. I came down with malaria twice my first tour. So. Could I? By all means. Thank you. Would you uh, have a glass with me? <laughs> I don't do much drinking in the middle of the day. Well, you are missing out. Mm. Now there, that was a day. Mm. Hey, how many years you been putting up with this bullshit, huh? Ten in May, actually. A decade, huh? Damn. <laughs> you know, to give you the Purple Heart. You said you needed to ask for Lloyd's help with something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a financial matter. Mm, yeah, of course it is. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. If you'll excuse me, Mac, I really do have some housekeeping I need to attend to. Oh, I thought y'all had a maid. It's a figure of speech. Lloyd may not be home for several hours. Let me try him at the office. Yeah, you do this, Susan. You do that. He's here. Right now in the house. What am I supposed to do? Visit with him? But you told him, Lloyd. Well, evidently you didn't deliver it strongly enough, because here he is. Your father would. another. Should I get us something stronger? <laughs> What's wrong with you? You've been staring off into space since Binghamton. What, damn it? That body in Binghamton. I was friends with him. High school? Oh God, why didn't you say something? You OK? We were good bodies have just lost touch over the years, you know? I turned to walk away. Coming on, 
You want to dump it off on Anderson and Boyd? No, nothing like that. It's just weird. All these bodies, and that's the first one I actually knew. Great. Two shots of whiskey, honey, OK? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, I'll call and let you know. Thanks, Andrea. seen a one-legged man come through here, would you? He's got a funny mustache named Silk. Doesn't ring a bell. Sorry. All right. Care for a private dance, mister? No, I'm Haley, a... Haley, you got any one-legged customers with funny mustaches lately? 
What was it? It's uh, subs. I got a fellow with a hook hand. No mustache look? Mm. No. That's not it. Thanks, Allie. Sure you don't want the private dance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not your tie? No, just playing hard to get. Maybe drop the press jacket. <laughs> Quinn. Mac. What do you have? Bourbon. Neat. Ancient age? Gotta be better in the car. If you ask, then you must know. If you still doubt, you should be told. It was not we that made it so. It was be tough. Being married and working at a place like this, huh? Probably about as tough as it is to be married and be a customer in a place like this. I only wear this so the customers won't hit on me. Oh, yeah? How's that, how's that work? You tell me. But you must rise to meet the day, lest you... One time a piece I sold you, Jan. One time out of five, six. That's about an 800. That'd get me to the Hall of Fame. Well, all it takes is one time, Joe Donna. My guys don't get any more in bets. Why they shoot? Thought you were just doing bank jobs. When you put it that way, we could probably just be using toy guns. Thanks, Joe Donna. You just save me a couple hundred bucks. Hold on. I'm sorry. None of my business what they're used for. It's just that uh, you're one of my favorite customers. I hate to think you're dissatisfied. So, usual baker's dozen? Plus five snubs, four more 45s, and double the ammo order. Then we're looking at 3,800. I was thinking 33. Hold the hell up. It's always been 2,000. You know that. Plus the snubs, 45s, and ammo. Why are you getting cute on me? 3,800. Yeah, it feels like 33, though. 36, though. I can move those snubs easy. I guess favorite customer don't account for too much. Not for 500 goddamn dollars. Hey! Don't cuss at me. Times are tough, J.D., and they're getting tougher. I like doing business with you. But you say you like doing business with me, but I can, and I will, find somebody else. 33. To the Hall of Fame. Something I want to show you. Oh, gift? You should open with that. It wouldn't have been so curt. Right? Thought you might like it. What made you think that? I don't know. Because you're... Because I'm what, Joe Don? Well, you're queer, ain't you? Tomorrow, 7 p.m. Usual spot. If it ain't broke. See you then.
know where Mr. Williams' desk, Tommy? Ma'am? Joni? Can you come with me, please? Some of your co-workers told us that you and Mr. Williams sometimes carpool together. Occasionally. And? Yesterday morning, it was one of those occasions when you and your friend came by. I called, but I couldn't reach him. You speak to him at all on Wednesday? Oh, uh, just here at work. But not after work? No. They told us it was an accident? Uh, this is all pretty standard question, ma'am. We're just trying to get a timeline down. Uh, we know he was covering a show at the Flamingo. Seems to be the last anyone saw of him. On um, Wednesday, you were where? I was uh, home all night with my husband. Your husband, what's his name? Lloyd McKinnon Conway Jr. Goes by Mac. Isn't Quan Thang Lloyd McKinnon Conway Jr.? My husband didn't. What does my husband have to do with this? So, Cliff, do you have any girlfriend he ever talked about? Any relationship problems? No, y'all think. Y'all think that someone did this to him? Is that it? You remember on Glenview, right? And Cliff lived on Piccolo? Yes. Just a little out of the way for a carpool. Not really. I could just pop over and get him, then get on Union. Or vice versa. father used to bring me. I saw gorgeous George himself here 30 years ago in Memphis. Come out the town, pomp and circumstance blaring, his valet tossing rose petals all the way to the ring. How are you holding up, son? Pretty fucking terrible. I would imagine so, been a heck of a homecoming you've had. I admire your resiliency. You <laughs> my, my resiliency? Oh, no, I mean it. Look around you. We live in an age of superfluous men. Not one of these knuckle draggers could handle a fraction of what you've been doing. Yeah, I, I think they got the better end of the bargain. So what? You want me to work for you because I have a shitty life and I haven't managed to put my head in an oven yet? Hmm? You know what makes us miserable? 
The expectation that the world is something other than what it is. What is it? That's it, boy. Go, man, Dingo. Go. One, two, three, two. Think after the last few weeks you've had, you would go on too well. So this money I owe you, this $30,000. $26,000. Cliff Williams, I believe he shuffled off this mortal coil. Okay, so the money I owe you, I can get it. But I'm, I'm gonna need Talk more Talking over time. Mr. Williams. Uh, you and your wife aren't speaking to Colonel Spresley. Uh, why? Didn't know if she mentioned that she was questioned by the police this afternoon. Relax, it's okay. All they know is that some hippie idiot smoked some grass, decided to work on his car, probably too stoned to realize he hadn't said the jack ride. So they think it was an accident. It was, wasn't it? left her alone or not. You know, Gorgeous George used to have his valet spray perfume around the rim for a man. Corey. All right, listen up. Corey. No, no, no. You, you lured me here, okay? You lured me here so you could send your, your funky self to her. I'm not fucking stupid. Of course not. She's fine. What sense would it make for me to harm her? Let's just say I have a vested interest in where things stand between you yeah. two. Okay, why? Why? Was you my marriage counselor? God damn it. Even after everything she's done, you still love her, don't you? Son, I know the world don't make a whole lot of sense to you right now. Nothing makes a man angrier than having no sense of meaning or purpose in life. Why are you gonna give that to me? I can't give you that, son. I can't feel that real void. But there's something I could do with your help with. Coming through. One second, ma'am. Oh, I'm sorry. OK, here we go. And pancakes for you. Enjoy. Here you go. Come again. How you doing? Back. Uh, you want to catch up? Good morning, coffee. Hmm. Please, ma'am. Thank you much. Hope they're not working you too hard. Oh, you know. Just the breakfast, lunch, and dinner shifts. And that's it, huh? How you doing? What can I get for you? Hmm. I might need a little help there. I'm new to the neighborhood. Oh, well, welcome. Thank you kindly. What would be your expert recommendation? Uh, how hungry are you? Very. Uh, the biscuits and gravy, the best things on the menu. Sawmill? Red eye. Oh, even better. And stay clear of the meatloaf, but you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> Loud and clear. <laughs> biscuits, some of that red eye gravy. Mm -hmm. uh, cheese eggs, scrambled if they can swing it. Okay, coming right up.
Shut up, okay? Let's go get the ball. Find it! Lesson one. New job, new car. In the system we trust. Should I be taking some notes or something? Probably. Going to see a man about some guns. You just there to back me up. Broker wants you to learn the ropes. Okay. Who we meet? A guy named Joe Dawn. Total fucking dope. Lovely day for doing business, ain't it? All right. Well, who's this? This is Quarry. OK, what the hell is Quarry doing here? Well, I could say the same about Mr. Meatball here. I know him. I don't know him or why somebody I've got a perfectly good working relationship with would switch shit up on me all of a sudden. I say he's good, and for you, that means golden. You understand? OK. How do I know he's not a cop? Oh, good God. Yeah, he is. We both are. You're under arrest for being ugly assholes. <laughs> do you have my guns or not? Yeah. Go ahead, John. Gun, 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 gun. OK. John. Well, sure, it looks like money from way over here. Still gonna need to count it, though, if you don't mind. And here I thought we'd established a level of trust. Oh. Leave it, fuckstick. Y'all can go ahead and hand over your guns now. Mind toss me that little bag there, Corey. You go and throw me a surprise party, Joe Don. Oh, pink lady. I knew your little swish ass would love that piece. <laughs> Ruining a business relationship and offer this kind of money? Why? Because it feels like 3,800, you cocky little faggot. That's why.
can't believe Joe Don had the balls to pull something like that. Sorry it went down that way. We'll have to get that looked at. I know a guy. I'll be fine. So, how'd it go? Oh, my. Well, it's going to keep you off the dance floor. The money? I believe you just got a bag full of guns. Consider the money hazard pay. Fair enough. But see, we put a thousand on your tab, too. Whatever you say. There you go. You're down to 25,000 already. Let me ask you a question. Does everything go to shit in this perfect system of yours, or did I just come on board at a really bad time? I hadn't realized you'd come on board, Cora. Glad to hear. service is still fucked. I get four letters from you a few days back. Nothing since. So. They're really the only thing I care about here. That getting back to you. No, I'm not saying this to make you worried. It's just because you're the only, only person I can tell. I'm so miserable. so goddamn much, Johnny. I have these, these thoughts about, like, fruits <laughs> and, and vegetables. <laughs> it's not, not dehydrated, just stuff from the store, colors. And I think about us putting clean sheets on the bed and sleeping in together. I can't remember the last time I slept in. <laughs> the way we wake up on a Sunday morning with nothing in front of us, you know, but the whole day. The sound you make when you pop your lips. <sighs> I think about your strong coffee, your spaghetti. <laughs> the way you 
cook spaghetti. I'm watching you cook it without you knowing that I'm watching you. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's weird. But it matters to me. I think about you. I mean, you're my whole wide world, Miss Conway. You make what's bad about me good and what's good about me better. I am so fucking lost without you. Ah, oh, shit. I'm a mess. <laughs> oh, I realize that. I couldn't live if I didn't have you to come back to, Joe. I just couldn't live. 